here is where I slept last night. There's some mountains out here. There is nobody around. I'm the only vehicle that was in this parking lot at all. I was wondering, maybe this is why they call it Red Rocks. The rocks are all red. I'm going for a little hike today in, in Red Rocks Canyon and this is in Nevada and there, this is a pretty nice place. There's rocks everywhere. So I'm taking a walk. Wow, this is the widest hiking trail I've taken in a long time. As usual, I don't have a map, but I don't think I'm going to go that far today. It's getting later in the day and I'm just going to go mosey on back and see what I can see. I think I'm going to end up in between these two pieces of rock over here. They're high. They're like a thousand feet tall or more. This one's probably more than 1,500 feet. And I think I'm going to end up in that canyon right there. We'll see. Cactus is totally different around here. Look at this cactus. It's tall. Here's some different cactus as well. All I can say is I surely don't want to run into any of those cactus because let me tell you, they all got these sharp needles that stick right into you. Never saw anything like that. It's like a porcupine. I've been thinking about this for a couple days now. Somebody was crazy enough to build Las Vegas in the desert. What I think is crazier people actually came. Weather's surely nice for end of October. Today is Halloween day. See, I'm all dressed up. Uh, nowhere to go though, so I'm here hiking by myself in the middle of nowhere. I like that though. I'm walking in what looks like a stream bed. Look at these rocks. What I really need to be concerned about is, are there any rattlesnakes out here? I am in a desert and it's a temperature where they will come out and hunt. Also, there are scorpions here. I am getting closer to the valley that I'm heading for. Here's one of the rocky areas. It's about 1,500 feet high. And I'm gonna go right through here somewhere is what I'm thinking. And I'm gonna end up in between this one as well. That one's at least a thousand feet high. The sun's going down. And does anybody have an idea where my headlamp is from previous videos? Anybody, could anybody guess? Oh yeah, my headlamp's back at the van. Oh yeah. I know I've been mentioning rattlesnakes on this hike. I just thought about it. I'm in definite cat country. There could be cougars here. This land is such a good hideout for them. And when I go into this canyon, anything could happen in there. And it is getting close to dark. It's after four o'clock. And that's when these cats start to do stuff. So here's some wild donkeys. Here is the funny thing. I never saw those donkeys and they weren't too far away from me. They made a noise. It might've been like a hundred feet away and they allowed me to walk pretty close to them. That just goes to show you if there's any kind of animal here that's hunting a person or something, they are camouflaged very well. I don't know why, but all these canyons seem to have an eerie feeling don't know why, but this canyon here definitely does. So here's the canyon. I'm closer to the V and the mountains. You can see the sun still hitting the back side of these things. Here's a really big mountain right here. Look at this cliff. I mean, it's pretty big. And this one over here is really big too. Here's the trail I'm walking on now. 
I'm coming in between the pass, between the two cliffs. I'm coming into the canyon. The trail is getting worse, which tells me people don't come this far. Well, I'm thinking I got maybe three miles to walk back right now, and I've been looking around. I think I'm gonna leave because it's getting closer to five o'clock, and I don't see the sun anymore. And I think by the time I walk these three miles back to the car, it's gonna be getting close to being dark. I might want to come back here when I have all day to play. Here's a little bit of fall for you. Now I knew there were a lot of animals that could get supported in this canyon. This canyon has a lot of life in it. There was just like four deer right there. And they let me get really close to them, so they might be used to people, I don't know. I was probably about 12 feet from one of them before they started walking away. Here's a few more on top of this hill. Right there is my van. I got a long way to walk. I actually think we're at a standstill. These four donkeys will not let me go this way and I need to go this way. They all have these little lines or markings on them. Now they're coming up after me. I got two here and two over here. Come on guys. So here's the sunset right here tonight. Mm -hmm. 